Tutorial Studio for Beginners. So in this tutorial guys, we are going to learn how to get started with Android Studio. So the first thing we are supposed to do is Android Studio is mainly used to create Android applications. So the first thing that you are going to do is head on to developer android.com slash studio website. I will leave this link in the description. Hit the download Android Studio button. You will be, uh, you will have to agree with the terms and conditions. By default, uh, it's disabled. So you have to click to check on it, and then click download. So I have already downloaded it. It's about 871 MBs, so it will take some time. Once the download is complete, it's an X file. So double click it, and it will install. Once the installation is complete, just launch the application by clicking the Android Studio icon and you'll see something like this. So you have the first item is start a new Android Studio project, open an existing Android Studio project, get from version control, and then you can profile or debug APK, import project, and finally you can import an Android code sample. So in this tutorial, we are going to start a new Android Studio project. So click new. We have several activities. We have no activity. We have a basic activity, bottom navigation activity, empty activity, full screen activity, Google AdMob activity, Google Maps, login. We have several of them. But in today's tutorial, we are going only to learn how to use empty activity. So select empty activity and click next. So uh, you are supposed to provide the name. So I can say my first app. And then the package name that is net .app. The place you want it to be saved. In my case, I am C projects Android app. The language you can choose between Java and Kotlin. So because uh, Kotlin is now the official language. I'm going to use Kotlin. Then uh, select minimum SDK and check if you want to use legacy Android support library. In this case, I'm not going to check that one because I don't want to use that. Then once you say, we give the name, the package, and the location, and the language, click finish. Once you click finish, the Android Studio is going to load. That means it's packaging some of the dependencies while creating the application. This may take a while, so let's wait. So the, my Gradle is building up and now it's configuring the project. So guys, give it some time for it to finish. So once uh, the configuration of the project is complete, you will see something like this on your end left. The first thing is manifest file. Within the manifest file, we have application. And within the application, we have activities. Whenever you create a new activity, it's added inside the application. So here we also declare things like permissions. If your app uses internet permission, you declare here. If it needs, permission for storing, you can store it permission, you can just create here. The next thing that you are going to do, so I don't need to declare all of this. The next thing is Java. Within the Java folder, we have your package and the main activity. If you create another activity, it will just display here. So within the main activity, we have main activity, extends the app compact activity. Within it, we have on create, which is the first method that is automatically generated. Then we have the rest, which contains drawable. Within the drawable folder, it's where you put all your resources, including images. And then within the layout folder, it contains the layout. So you can have activity layouts, you can have fragment layout. All of them will be at the layout. And then we have Mimimap. It contains also resources like a Ramcha image. And finally, we have values. So within the values, you can 
change colors you can have your strings declared here for instance this is app name and finally you have the styles within the style this is where you declare your name you can change you can have them up compact for instance you can decide not to have action one and finally we have the gradle scripts so we have the gradle build gradle in our case we're using kotlin version 1372 1, you can declare all project some of them will require uh, Marvin, you just be great here. And finally, we have build cradle. So, within the build cradle, this is where you add all your dependencies, and even you change the version code and the version name depending on the version of the app you are building. So, what I'm going to show you is how you can be able now to learn your first application. So, you need to create a, an emulator. So, the first thing that you do. Head on to this uh, AVD manager and then click on it. Here you, you want to create a virtual device. So for instance, I have already created several of them. You can just delete if I don't use that. Okay. Delete even this one. Okay. Virtual device, delete this one too. Mostly I use this one. So if you want to create a new one, just create a new virtual device. I select the one you want to create. You can select Nexus, Galaxy, or even uh, Pixels. So let's select uh, Nexus 5 that has Google Play. Click Next. You need uh, to download uh, the system image you want to use. You can use AL, you can use Q, Pi, Oreo, no good can have times 60 60 uh, times 86 images and other images so i will advise you to use the recommended you can just decide to download the uh ORIN. so once the download is complete you just need to click next and finish so download uh, because it takes some time so guys just download if it fails let me know in the comment section below so I'll cancel this one, and now I'm going to learn my first application. So to learn it, just head on here, select uh, your emulator device. If you want to learn on the real device, select the real device. So for this case, I'm going to learn on the emulator. Select your emulator and click the button to learn. Your emulator is going to start. There we are. And then the application, as you can see here, the first thing the Gradle is going to build. So let's wait for the Gradle to finish. It might take some time. Once, uh, once the Gradle has finished, you will get this notification and then the application will start to install itself and then it will launch as you can see we have only a hero world nothing else uh, our theme will remove the as you can see we removed we don't have any action bar but I, I want to turn the action bar so that you can see how it is by default so let's see So the app is installing now and now it's launching so by default the action bar looks like this but uh, mostly you find you need to add a custom action bar so you just remove it from the thing and then you can add it on the custom uh, custom ring so the next thing is this hero world i want to show you where it's coming from so heads on up to your activity main and as you can see we have the hero world so this is the name that is appearing in our application. So we can change it and see my app. Then we are going to learn this one again. So this time uh, we are expecting the hero world to have changed. There we are, we only have my app. Then we need to know how can I add another activity just click on the route then new activity 
and the type of activity you want to create. So I can say this is login. And then the source language, I choose Kotlin. And you can, as you can see, we have now two activities. We have main and login. So to align uh, items within the constraint layout, this is the constraint layout. Our video that shows how can be able to align uh, your views using constraint layout, which I will leave in the link so that you can be able to see how you can now be able to arrange your layout. The next thing, uh, I will also leave a link where you can learn how to move from one activity to the other. But basically, uh, in this tutorial, I just wanted to know to show you uh, how you can begin or create your first application using Android Studio. So thank you for watching. If you are new, uh, just hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified when I release a new application.